Hello once again and we're going to have a game of the A-Team for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Yes, so A-Team part one or two. Oh, and it's two parts of this. Well, play top part one. Okay, so here we are, the A-Team. So I think I know what this is going to be based on. It's like the Amstrad version and it's a French game. Oh, what's going on? All right. Yes, it is. Programmo, pause, I can't. Is that French? I don't know. Could be French. I think the last game was French um, on the Amstrad. So this is the same version, I think. In, we're going to play it. Because um, I thought the Amstrad version was good. Um, it's nothing like the Commodore 64 version. Thank fuck. Because that was fucking horrible. That was a shitty, really shitty... Um, like TV tie-in, movie tie-in, that sort of thing. Probably the worst ever TV tie-in game I've ever played was the A-Team on the Commodore 64. Um, so let's get on with that. So let's just put it on Kempston. And Juga, that must be in start. So here we go. So yeah, so we're basically the A-Team firing away. The only thing is, there's already a slight flaw with this gun. Oh, what's happened there? I don't know, I can't understand that. So I have no idea what's going on. Alright, we'll just push the key because I can't understand the language. Yeah, as I say, we're shooting away. There is a slight flaw with this game. Based on the real A team, in the TV program, no one actually got sh killed. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I think one person got killed in the actual pre but they weren't killed by the A-Team. But, so basically, it's similar to Operation Wolf in some ways, the way the game plays. That's no good to me, because I, I honestly have no idea what that fucking world says. I don't even know what key I'm supposed to put. Am I losing a life? I'm probably losing a life or something, I don't know. I don't know how many lives we get. I'm only guessing we should get four lives since there was four members of the A team. But to be honest with you, this plays pretty well. Um, yes, I know the graphics. Uh, well, the graphics don't look too bad. It's, well, the colours monochromic. Which, um, well, if you was a Spectrum, you owned a Spectrum back in the day, and that's pretty much what you was used to. So I'm not going to knock off that because it's not fair for me to knock off the. The colours on the spectrum because I know it was pretty limited but you know people got enjoyment out of the game so it's not it's not really fair to knock off the spectrum for that um, so yeah, but it plays pretty well runs pretty decently and it's um, a decent game um, the only other version I played of this type of 18 was on the Amstrad but that one back in the day so I'm only presuming I'm losing my lives. And I obviously don't know what button I should be put. Oh, that's what you push spacebar to deploy your rock or your grenades. Okay, I've only got one grenade. And obviously I'm not doing alright, so ah, oh, what the fuck? What's the problem? I can't understand the language, so this must I don't know if it's my last life or not. Must be. I'm only guessing. So basically you just shoot the enemy <laughs> in an Operation Wolf type style game. It's a shame it's in French. That must say game over. Yep, that's game over. Um, it is really difficult. I mean, you'll have an advantage if you can understand lingo. I'm only assuming it's French. Um, so if you can understand the lingo, then this is a good game to play. Um, I'm not going to have another go because, as I say, I can't. I don't know. I'm only presuming that was every time that commission had come up, I lost a life, which seems about right. But basically, you probably don't even need to understand language. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward game, and yeah, I like it. I think it's a well, it's a good playable game. 
Anyway, I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.